All right, Keith, thank you. In a News Channel 3 follow-up, a man in Battle Creek is charged with murder after confessing that he stabbed his girlfriend multiple times on Friday. However, police say 33-year-old Tommy Hurd has an extensive criminal history. News Channel 3's Carter Landis is live in Battle Creek tonight. And Carter, you know more about his background and why he was out of jail. Yeah, that's right, Jessica. Heard has four previous domestic violence convictions against him. One of those incidents stemming from a two, May of 2015 incident, one misdemeanor from May of 2017, a felony from December of 2018, and another misdemeanor in 2021. Now, all four of those incidents occurred in different counties, and that third one, that felony, that comes from an enhanced sentence. 33-year-old Tommy Heard charged with open murder in Calhoun County. He confessed to stabbing his girlfriend, Morgan Shug. Heard is also facing a charge of assault with intent to do great bodily harm less than murder for shoving Shug's grandmother. Calhoun County Prosecutor David Gilbert says when a repeat offender like Heard is picked up, they are on notice. That's a red flag. Yeah, that's a red flag. We're aware of it. And we do treat it differently every time he comes up for another one. News Channel 3 today obtaining iChat records from the Michigan State Police on Heard, showing he has several violent convictions dating back to 2007. Of his 11 offenses, four of them are domestic violence related. Gilbert says these previous convictions will influence Heard's sentencing guidelines if he is convicted. He gets points for having prior felonies on his record. He gets points for having high severity felonies and low severity felonies. He gets points for having misdemeanors. He has points for if he's on probation, parole, or out on bond uh, before or when this offense occurred. He gets points for that in his sentencing guidelines. Calhoun County has already seen five domestic violence homicides since December of 2023. There are resources for survivors of domestic violence if they need them at Safe Place. They provide things like phone services and legal advocates. Folks can certainly come in and stay in the shelter if they need a safe place to stay, but people can also access all of the rest of our services without staying here. So our counseling, all the legal services, our survivor advocacy are all available to folks staying here or not. Safe Place works closely with law enforcement to pinpoint trends in domestic violence and stop them at the source. We're digging into the data right now on the last five years of trends and trying to talk about what do we do about this? You know, is what can be done, um, and how can we partner together to try to make an impact, positive impact on the community? Battle Creek Police are telling me they handle each and every domestic violence situation with the utmost seriousness. Now, Heard's preliminary hearing is scheduled for April 29th. If you want to know more about what Safe Place does and the resources they provide, we'll have a link on our website. That's wwmt.com. Live in Battle Creek, Carter Landis, News Channel 3. I'm Jessica Harthorn. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, there's plenty more to see. Just take a second and subscribe to our channel.